What we do on this is there's a big bulge where the bolt hole goes, which is where the tube is going. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this straight tool to cut out the bevel and try to level it with the rest of the runner and the port. In effect, taking that bulge and hump out, which will disrupt the flow. So we start in the center. And start working it down. Now you have to turn the head upside down. We do the bottoms first, and then we do the tops. Now I'm not busting through. I, I take it all the way till I can feel it leveling out because when I start grinding and pulling it in, it's going to break away. So I'm not using it as a marker per se to grind till I bust because I just want a little bit of the tube showing, if any. Just getting it real close to where it's level is the name of the game to get this atrocious hump out. Other than that, it's a really good exhaust board. All right, and that right there at the bottom. We'll turn it over in a minute and do the top side. Okay, now I've got the head turned upside down, and I'm going to come to the point to the back, which I feel. I'm going to begin to cut in. Now you'll be surprised at feel just taking your finger and feeling the depth of the trench that you get out. That's where a lot of this is. And you're going to know you've got about the same amount cut out in the same distance. I know that might not sound very scientific, but it's the way it is. Alright, so now we got both trenches dug on this side right here. And I hadn't even uh, put the blue dicom on yet and scribed it. That's going to be the next thing I do before I begin the cut is to take the actual header gasket and put on here and see if I can pull this over as much as I can to get that out of the way to let this thing really kick some flow numbers. Okay, now I've dicomed it in and scribed it. We're scribing it to the Felpro 1412, which is a two and an eighth inch diameter hole gasket. And as you can see, it gives me some a, a little bit of material way toward the top and I got some to round on the sides. That's what I was hoping for so that when I pulled it in I can come on in and contour it. Uh, it leaves a little bit to be desired here in the corners but the gasket can be trimmed in that spot and that spot. Nothing has ever touched on the bottom. If anything I might be tempted to weld a little bit more material and bring it on in a little bit. That would, on this 345 head, I don't know how that would work once the cross section was done between the two. But that's what I've done. So I got material here, here, and here I got that I can blend into it, which should really work well taking it out where this bolt hole is right here. So anyway, that's my line. This is the Felpro 1412 gasket. That's how it lays on there. And I'm going to go ahead now and chew the wall out and start setting the exhaust runner up for everything that's got to be done to it.